What is going on, guys? It's a boy, Arsar from Arsar Collections, and guys, happy 2022, guys. This is the first video that I am doing for the year, as promised and delivered, delivering, I should say. <laughs> uh, guys, this will be the uh, top 10 reactions and pulls of the year 2021, guys. Yeah! So just before we get started to that, I just figured I'd kind of show off a little bit of some uh, notable mentions throughout the years, which is right in front of us here. Um, some of those legendary pulls are either already put away in decks, binders, or honestly, I could have even sold them for all I know. Uh, but even, as you can tell, some of these cards may not look familiar, and that's just because, you know, I just wanted to show off and flex a little bit. <laughs> but guys, again, since we're recapping the year 2021, these are just some acquires and pulls of the year 2021 so um believe it or not i actually kept buying those dollarama packs which was a bad idea and i was able to pull a first edition blue eyes toon dragon from uh starter deck pegasus as you can tell from the greatest to condition but if it were to be near mint i think it is definitely a couple of bucks right uh dpe guys one of the biggest and wildest chase cards of the year 2021 uh, i was able to pull this luckily out to the ots store and i just kept buying and buying uh, packs <laughs> Uh, this was an acquire, guys. I actually bought two of these throughout the year. Kind of regret selling the first one because this is my second. Uh, Dual Terminal 1 Red Eyes, you know, rare. As you can tell, some play wear there. The first one that I bought that was lately played actually wasn't as bad, right? And then, you know, this was just for fun. Like, guys, like older packs like Tactical Evolution and Finding Hollows in First Edition, and I'm pretty sure, like, this was close to near mint, if anything. Um, I don't think it was played. Uh, I know the top loader doesn't do any justice right now, but even when I bought this card for about like five, seven bucks, like, you know what? It's a hero card. It's your boy. It's first ed. It's tactical evolution. Tactical evolution. Like, I had to do it. <laughs> right. And then, guys, the, some Lost Art promos. Shout out to Ray Collecting. Uh, the Firewall Dragon, if you guys remember, right? Uh, pulled from OTS 15. My first ulti pull of the year, guys. And then, you know, Ghost Hunting, right? I was able to pick up this bad boy, Blue Eyes White Dragon from uh gold series 5 haunted mine right where they collab say collab but they did gold ghost rares i don't like the fact that it's a gold rare but i'm sure at some point you know we'll get a natural uh you know vanilla ghost rare of the blue eyes white dragon hopefully an og art uh or if not even lopr would actually be pretty sick uh but anyways guys outside of that there was one poll that i met that i want to flex that i actually did do for the year and that is bam an ulti Unlim Ed, unfortunately, but uh, literally, I want to say it's mint when I took a look at it, like a thorough look at it with the homies, but Effect Veiler, guys, it's pulled from the Duelist Revolution Special Editions, but I just kept buying them, like, non-stop, and all of a sudden, I the one day I decide to do some openings off-camera, <laughs> I pull a Veiler. Very disappointed that I wasn't on camera, though, for you guys, but, you know, it is what it is, right? So, guys... Like I said, just wanted to show off a quick couple of pulls and just notable mentions throughout the year. Guys, let's get this top 10 reactions and pulls video on the way. See you in a bit. Get to it. So you're already seeing some of our rare cards just by me accidentally flipping some of these, but we'll just quickly go through them. Common Honest, ST10. Like some of these are actually kind of old. DR2, Dark Dragon Ritual, nice, right? Uh, that's a rare card number three. That's a rare card number four. Oh, come on! Rare card number five and rare card number six. I, I don't remember how many rare cards we were guaranteed. We got some speed duels in there. Machine conversion factory. Guys, this is a first edition LOB common. That actually, I'm not gonna say it's worth some, like a whole lot, ton of money, but that's actually pretty cool too. Freaking sick. Right, next pack. Oh, these ladies sound. We got the Warrior Returning Alive, Converging Wishes, Unexpected Battle, uh, Conestellar, Tell Me M7, Queen's Knight, True Dowsing Fusion, and. <gasps> no! No way! What? No! Guys, for the first time ever on RSR Collections and amongst the inner circle of us three, 
A collector's rare. Holy smokes. I gotta sleeve this up right now. Second pack of the 2021 tin of Ancient Diamonds. These packs are very fun to open though, guys. Like, I do love tins. I kind of wish they'd bring back, like, concept tins like they did, um, like, back in the 5Ds days. Right? Like, some of those tins are actually, or I shouldn't say 5Ds, but, like, um, like, Grandmaster Ninja Hanzo, Ninja Hanzo or something like that. Like, they're actually, those tins are actually worth quite a bit sealed, so. Should all shizm. Nice. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> A fourth cross out. <laughs> Is that cross out number four? Five? Four? Well, wait, hold on. I think to you guys, this might be cross out number three, but technically this is my fourth. I haven't dropped the other video yet. And, uh, I, wait, wasn't it Gears 2 that followed after I pulled the cross out every time? <laughs> That's funny. That's still, I think, I think we, honestly, with the amount of money I spent at Galaxy, that pretty much broke even on our pack. Or on our, um, on our purchase. All right, guys, let's go. Dawn of Majesty. All right. This one was an okay set. I oops, I personally didn't think it was. Like, I personally ragged on this. Like, yeah, ragged on the set. But a lot of you guys, a lot of you duelists, do like this set very, very much. Nice. A secret Albert the Jester of Despia. Nice. Cool. I'll take that. Secret. And where do I put my I don't know if it's worth anything, but, you know. Still, it doesn't work. What, 10-10? <laughs> you took Dark Infinity? Astro Ghouls. Time Theory for Doer. It's a sick secret rare, actually, too. Oh! Yo! Yes! <laughs> Holy Ooh, smokes! Dude, it is. This is what the fourth ten I've probably opened of this. Nice, nice. There Holy it is. Holy smokes! Yeah. Now we're talking. See, in TCG player, I looked this up, guys. There's only about two German prints for sale. Think going up. And they're Conference exactly up. they're seventy five bucks a piece. Yeah. Seventy five for the German print. Yeah. Oh, dude. Of course, we got Goki Iron Claw, AI's Ritual, Melfi Mommy, Deep Seas, Dark Lords. Okay, you won't leave me alone. We got Gravity Control. This card didn't even need the rarity bump. <sighs> what a waste. Infernobles. Virtual Worlds. Wait, Nyan Nyan? All right, I'm saying that right? Okay. No, wait. Is it? Oh! <laughs> no way! Oh, here we go. Thank you. Yes, that is right. Cross out designator. Here's another. I'm just kidding. And gear suit. Oh, jeez, Louise. So we got Zeus and cross out in two different tins, right? No, three. Yeah, in tin three. Holy smokes! We were just talking about. You know what? Let's. Actually, that's my last pack. So I'm just putting it off to the side. Holy jeez! All right, guys, two OTS packs. We're almost done. We're almost winding down. I'm starving. <laughs> All right. Cyber Source, Lion Alligator. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I'm in tears. I'm in. I'm laughing my ass off. Like, no. <laughs> right, guys. One of my favorite sets of the year, King's Court. Shout out to Fusion Gaming on this one. Because for some odd reason. Somebody cleared out of all the King's Quest packs for my other OTS store. I don't know what that was about. We got Rivalry of the Warlords, nice. Reinforcement of the Army. Uh, Baxia, 
Jacksonite, Ties of the Brethren, uh, ZW. Oh! Ho -ho! No way! This is a collector's rare, isn't this? Isn't it? Okay. But I said King Sport was going to be a good set to me. Or was a good set to me. It truly is. I think that's the first collector's rare I've pulled outside of the booster box. Because I've been buying like non-stop. Well, I shouldn't say stop. I shouldn't say non-stop. But when I buy blister packs, I like I try to... I only buy the blister packs of King Sport if I can to get um, the collector's rares. Or even like the Pharaoh's like super, uh, secret or ultra rare. So guys, not bad. I'll take that my second collector's rare. Last pack, let's go. We got Indulge Dark Lord, Rain Bozu, the guys that don't leave me alone. Yeah. More of the guys that don't leave me alone. Battle Survivor, Dark Lord Uprising, some Gizmex. Uh, I will not attempt to say that, but I'm pretty sure we've pulled it already. Ooh. Virtual World, Lulu. All right. <sighs> oh. Oh, no! You don't, wait, what? <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my god. Now, boys, la ladies and gentlemen, out of the three of us, yeah. for what? I won the pack battle. That, 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 I got, yeah. You can't take that away from me. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, relax. <laughs> Oh, no. no. <laughs> the Gokies won't leave me alone. Uh, we got Electro Whip. Get whipped. Hey, Frenzy Panda. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I know. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> 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 hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, you're lucky I didn't do my editing. Uh, Witty Phantom. Wasteland. What? The Witty Phantom? <laughs> we got Wasteland. Wait, what? Wasteland. Dino Zombies and Rock Monsters? Okay. Wasteland. Got our mail or dark gray. Oh, oh, oh! No! No! What? No way! And a Carbonola Warrior. Yo, that's just that's just actually rare right now. Is it really? Yeah, because it's. Uh, but no, no way. way! Yo, that's crazy. Well, let's sleeve, sleeve it up. Sleeve it up. Oh, right I now. need a sleeve. Oh yeah, bro. I should get a cane line. Listen, yeah, it's yeah. true. Oh, you guys bro. do get the godhead. Uh, well guys, I hope you really liked that video of, again, the top 10 polls or reactions of the year 2021. And since earlier in this video I'd showcased, you know, a couple of acquires and polls that were off camera, I figured quick, fast, guys, we'd go through some of the, the sealed products that I've been going uh, or collecting uh, within, the last, uh, within the last year as well. So it's going to be a smart collection. So if you guys have been doing it for a while, you guys will probably laugh. <laughs> like for blister packs, we got, you know, just Brothers of Legend and Dark Neostorm. Like I'm a firm believer that, you know, five, ten years from now, like if not one, like if not both of these, one of these two sets, I feel like will actually be, you know, worth something. And then, you know, just a couple of like random loose packs, guys, like Burst of Destiny, which I feel like could go up in the, in, you know, f again, five, ten years from now. Uh, we got Destiny Soldiers, just because hero stuff. Maximum Crisis, you never know, that secret rare Ash Blossom, but unfortunately, this one's unlimited, so I'm gonna hold on to this until I can uh, find a first ed. Judgment of the Light, um, not the greatest set of the XZ era, but like, if I could find like a first gen, like generation four, so like Photon Shockwave, I'd be nice and I'd probably crack this open. Uh, one Extreme Victory from uh, Comic Con a while ago from 5Ds, and a Duelist Pack you say. This is actually a new acquire, guys, Power of the Duelist. Shout out to Jesse Cotton, actually. I ordered off his website, Pro, Pro Potato Cards. And I know this is a reprint, but someday this will be the OG, if not Magic Ruler, just any you guys, like any legacy pack, I'd be down to keep in the collection. But as of as of right now, this is the placeholder. But someday this will become, if not an OG, like Magic Ruler first ed, I'd be I'd even settle for just the Square Konami logo and an Unlim, right? <laughs> But guys, like those, these are just some of the sealed products that I've been kind of collecting throughout the year of 2021. I don't know if I had this on camera, but this is one of 
the last Duelist Revolutions that my um, my local card shop, they're not an OTS store, but so just, I'm just gonna call my local card shop, um, had. And now, since I pulled basically one of the best pulls of the set, I don't need to crack this open and I'm just gonna, you know, keep this marinating. I think right now, like, retailers in Canada have been selling this on average for 50, 60 bucks. There isn't really a lot of them online. Uh, so I don't know, I might, I might sell it for the right price, but as of right now, this will just be, you know, chilling in the archives, guys. And then this is probably like the crown jewel of my, of my sealed uh, collection, guys. Uh, first edition booster box of absolute power force guys right so yeah all right guys so once again thank you for tuning in on r sars i guess yeah r sars i don't know i started that r sars top 10 polls and reactions of the year 2021 guys i hope you enjoyed the video and here is to more to come guys so once again thank you and you know what? Just have yourselves a good 2022 and make it your year. All right, guys, this is your boy RSR from RSR Collection signing off. Deuces.